what's up guys then my for simple snippets and i'm back with another video tutorial on fuzzy logic but in this case we are going to be discussing two concepts known as classical relations and cartesian products since these are classical relations we will be dealing only with classical sets or crisp sets and these are the topics that we'll try to cover and this video is most probably going to be theoretical so if you already know what relations are and how to calculate cartesian products you can always skip this video so let's start with Cartesian product. What exactly is Cartesian products? So consider we have two sets A and B. So the set of all ordered pairs A comma B where the first term or the first element is from set A and second element is from set B is called Cartesian product. It is denoted by A cross B and here's an example on the fifth point we can see that there is a set A which has 1, 3, 5, 7 and we have a set B which has 2, 4, 6. So in the point 6 we have calculated the Cartesian product of the two sets that is A cross B and you can see all the first elements in the pair are from the set A and the second element in the pair are from set B. Now remember that A cross B is not equal to B cross A because it is an ordered pair system. So the order changes as well as the value changes. And the number of elements in set A cross B is given by number of elements in set A multiplied by number of elements in set B. So this is just theoretical aspect of how to go about calculating Cartesian products and we'll need them when we see the classical relation. So let's understand what a classical relation is. Basically classical relation is a binary relation that is it has only two values that is either it is related or it is not related or true or false or 1 or 0 and it is a relation from A to B and is a subset of A cross B. So suppose R is a relation from A to B then R is a set of ordered pairs where each first element comes from A and each second element comes from B. So for each pair where A, A belongs to capital A or set A and B belongs to set B only one of the two possibilities is possible that either A is related to B or A is not related to B. Now the domain of a relation is the set of all first elements in the ordered pair which belong to the relation and the range of the relation R is set of second elements of the ordered pair which belong to R. So this was just some theory and let's see an example in real world scenario. Okay so as you can see on the screen we have set A and we have set B and here we have the Cartesian product which is the ordered pair of all the elements. Now the first element is from set A and the second element is from set B and consider that we have been given a relation as follows. Now you can see that all these pairs in the relation also appear in the Cartesian product of the two sets. So this relation is a valid relation and you can also see that the first element of the pair is from set A whereas the second element is from set B. So this is a relation which denotes a mapping of two sets and this can be resembled in a diagram as follows. So let's say this is set A which has 1, 2 and 3. And we have a set B, which has A, B and C. So according to the relation, we have the first pair as 1 comma A. So we have to draw a diagram and an arrow from this to this point. We again have 2 comma A. We have 3 comma A. Now we have 3 comma B. We have 1 comma C and we have 1 comma b. So this is the diagrammatic representation of the relation and we can also denote this relation in terms of a 2D matrix. So the way we do it is r is equal to the rows are denoted by the first elements values. So would be 1, 
two, and three. That is these values. And the columns are denoted by A, B, and C. So you can see it's a three cross three matrix. And to map them, we just have to find out the pairs from the relation. We know one comma A is present in the relation. So we have to find one and A and write a one over here. We have two comma A, so two and A again one. Three comma A again one. Then we have three comma B, so this is three. And this is B, so again one over here. Then we have one C and one B. Now remaining, we have to re represent them by zero because there is no relation. And this is how we get a matrix of the relation. The one denotes there is a relation, and zero denotes that it is not related to each other. So this is just the theoretical aspect of classical relations. So here are some operations on classical relations. So this is just the theoretical aspect, and I'll show you the brief formulas. We can say that we can perform union on two relations R union S, and it is denoted by max of the two of the elements. Then we have intersection, which is minimum of two of the elements. Then we have complement, containment, and identity. Similarly, we have certain properties of classical relations, and you must have seen all these laws in Boolean algebra as well. That is commutative law, associative law. and we are not going to actually go ahead and solve any numericals on this but this is just the theoretical aspect so i hope you understood the theoretical aspect of classical relations and cartesian products and in the next video tutorial we'll solve a numerical based on the maxim in composition approach so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it and subscribe to our channel peace